So let's talk about recursive SQL. Let's say I wanted to have a table that has in it one row for each number from 1 to 10. So that if I said select n, that's the column name, from t, which is the table name, the result will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, this is a useful thing to have in case I might want to join it with other things. I can, if I can have a list of 10 numbers, it might make my joins work better. So I'm going to use SQL, I'm going to use recursive SQL to do this. When using re recursive SQL, the way to think about it is you want to have two columns. Your first column is your current value of the variable, and the second column is the next value. So we start with a with statement, and we're going to name our table t, and our columns, I'm going to call them n and n2. Current value and the next value. As. The first thing you do in a, in a recursive table is you define the first row, the trivial case. The trivial case is the case in which the first number is a 1 and the second number is a 2. So we're going to select 1, 2 from, and DB2 has provided this useful table called sysibm.sysgummy1, which is always guaranteed to have exactly one row in it. So when I say select 1, 2 from sysibm.sysgummy1, when I query that, select n from t, my result now will be a 1, just a 1, single row, and there's my value. Now I need to make it recursive to get all the other numbers. So let's take this out. I'm going to add a union. It has to be a union all when you're using recursion. And now in, for the second row and each subsequent, subsequent row, it's going to be select the new value and then the new value incremented from t, from itself. That's what makes it recursive, is we're selecting from itself. Now, you always have to put in a catcher to make sure that it won't just run forever. So we're going to say where n is less than or equal to 10. And now, when I say select n from T, I will get my list of numbers, 1 to 10. So there you have it, recursive SQL. Thank you for watching.